This is Jeff Curran of the D's on a Joe Boister QBU. Just finished the QB20 camp here at Oakland Yard in Waterford. Uh, inaugural, inaugural camp we put on this year. Uh, how would you describe it? I thought it went well. Uh, very excited to start this. Um, planning it, it took a lot. Uh, but seeing the end product with the 20 quarterbacks that we selected to have the opportunity to come and compete with one another, uh, have their receiver, which they brought, um, and just get some throws out and uh, come out and compete, like I said, was, was all worth it, um, especially with no cost, which I think was just a great add-on for these guys um, to get out and show them what they got. And let's talk about our evaluation process that me and you went through sitting down. Uh, we know we identified probably 80 to 90 quarterbacks we, for this camp. Uh, you know, so what, what went into our decision making and from your perspective of you know, what, how we selected these quarterbacks? A variety of things. Uh, obviously experience. Um, for example, Andrew Knight has started since a freshman. He's going to be a junior. So um, seeing experience built in, you know, the quality of your school. Are you playing serious football? Do you take football serious? was another thing we took into consideration and then potential um, with guys like Duke Banta, who's the youngest guy here. Uh, big kid, strong arm. Um, and so those were some of the things we took into consideration uh, of the type of guys we wanted to be here to showcase uh, for our camp. And next year, uh, we're looking to make it even more serious, higher quality, and just keep moving it forward. Uh, let's touch on it for next year. You know. What's it going to look like next yeah, year? Yeah, so, you know, we'll have a lot of planning, you and I, to do. But uh, I think since we got our first one underway, I think it couldn't have gone any better. Um, I'm excited, uh, whether it's uh, guest speakers or something to really appeal to quarterbacks. It's the QB20 camp because we appeal to quarterbacks, nobody else. Um, and we want to make it a fun event. Uh, we want to look at, we want to make it so they look forward to it in the years to come. Um, and I think we're on the right track with that. And you played at Michigan State, uh, you know, one of the highest levels. So, you know, let's talk about, you know, coaching now. You know, uh, you know what got you into coaching, and you know, just reflect a little bit about that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, you know, I train quarterbacks. Um, it's my full-time job. That's all I do. Uh, I, I, I got into it because I, I had a great career. I didn't end it how I wanted it to end. Um, so I look at myself as if I can help a young quarterback not struggle and go through some of the negative experiences that I did, self-made by myself, um, I would just like to be there for people, be there for them, be somebody they can call and talk to. And if we can learn some football, um, that's what I want. And when you're coaching these quarterbacks, uh, you know, what are some of the things you look on when, uh, you know, before you decide to give, you know, open your mouth and give them advice? Right. Um, I think as it, as it correlates to fundamentals, I think obviously the base, um, a lot of young young players have a wide base and tend to overstride. Uh, that's the biggest thing I see. Um, but you know, just building on that relationship with the quarterback that works with me um, is I think very, very important. And then the football comes later. But you gotta be comfortable with who you train with. You gotta like who you train with. Um, and then that is all added on after. And you do, you know, the QBU training. So, you know, this, uh Describe what you, what you guys do and when you guys do it. Yeah, so we train all year round, whether it's indoor or outdoor. In the cold months, we'll be inside. Um, outside, or when it warms up, we'll be outside. Uh, it's three days a week, uh, small group. We got some really, really competitive guys that train with us. Um, Jackson Dosh, Axel Newell, Jackson Palmer, um, Jake Morrow. Uh, the list just goes on and on, and they're all similar age. They play a, at a very high level. They have the same goals, um, and that's kind of what we're about. We train with the group you should be training with, um, which is experience. We never want you know, a senior in high school that is a big-time varsity starter training with somebody that's just learning to throw a football. I don't think that's beneficial to anybody. So that's kind of my motto. And, you know, the quarterbacks, they get to know each other and they build relationships and they play each other and that's that's what makes it fun. That's what makes it uh, high school football, high school football. you got two colleges, at least two that I know of coming in, uh, Brendan Sullivan from Northwestern and Mike DePillo from Buffalo. Uh, so let's talk about them a little bit and any other colleges, college quarterbacks you work with. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, uh, Brendan Sullivan's at Northwestern. He's a Davidson guy. Um, Davidson... Uh, it was very influential, I think, with Brendan Sullivan and how he is, how he carries himself. Um, he's, a, he's a great kid, great leader, uh, and just a playmaker. 
Uh, I think he's going to have a big year at Northwestern. Um, and then Mike DePillo is out at the University of Buffalo from Clarkston. I've known Mike a little longer. Uh, we have a great relationship. He's a you know 6'6", 235 pounds. Um, and I think his time's coming. He's working on it. Obviously, they're just finishing up spring ball. So um, those are the two, you know, the, the big Division I guys. But, you know, you have guys like Ty Brodebeck, who plays at Northwood, Tyler Herzog, who's going to Alma. So all the different levels um, I see, which I, I like. I think the kids like it. Um, it gives them options to see what, what's out there and to work with those guys hand in hand. Um, and that's what it's all about. Hi, right, Joe Boyster. Thank you. Thanks. Nice.